trade, again, just think about vertical oscilloscopes. Vertical oscilloscopes don't worry, the graph is not being sine, right? So we need to figure out, well, when is sine of x equal to zero? So let's go back to our lovely trigonometry days. Take any given circle and identify when is sine equal to zero. So remember, every point on here is an x and a y coordinate. Remember, sine represents the y coordinate, right? So at what angle is sine going to be zero? Well, this point has an angle zero, sine zero. And at this angle, which is pi, the sine value is zero as well. Is everybody with me? The y coordinates are zero, right? Negative one times zero, one times zero. And then what I can see is this just keeps on repeating itself, correct? So I know that all the values that are going to make this zero, my vertical asymptote is equal to, I'm not going to include, I'm not going to say zero, because what I'm just going to do is pi n, I'm sorry, x equals pi n, where n, a lot of times you have to write this, where you're going to add a new variable where sign of those angles is always going to give you a y coordinate zero, which is going to make this undefined. It's non-removable, so therefore it's our vertical.